Texas A&M is really receiving a lot of hype for the 2019 season. As you've seen at the end of the 2018 season, they really ended it well. And they ended with a huge game against NC State, and they ended up blowing them out. But how do, you, how do I think that they're going to do in 2019? That's what we're going to be going over today. We're going to be going over a few points, who Texas A&M will be losing going into next season. And we're going to be looking at their schedule for the first time this offseason. And I'll just be going over a few games that I think are going to be wins. A few games that could possibly be losses. In 2018, they went 9-4. and four. Of course, they have lots of hype in 2019 once again, as I've said. You return Mon Kellen at quarterback. That is huge, I think. This is a quarterback that really has a chance to do some great things next year. We saw him last year. Um, and he struggled at times. But he, of course, I really do think that he's got a lot of potential. All receivers, they return as well. That is huge for Kellen. Uh, that will really help him. They lose Williams at running back. That's probably their biggest loss on this team. They also lose two offensive linemen and one tight end. But the defense is where they really are going to take hits. They lose three defensive linemen and two linebackers. Um, and also lose one safety in the secondary. They do, they re do return all of their cornerbacks. Um, but yeah, of course, on almost every other section of their defense, they have a loss somewhere. So really the defense... That's good. That may be a weak spot for this Texas A&M team next year. Their offense, though, should be pretty stellar. SEC championship run in 2019. A lot of people are talking about this and then possibly making it to the college football playoff. I say that they're going to be short of the or of the SEC championship next year. I don't expect them to make it to the playoff. Um, I think people are kind of kind. That's a reach to be able to say that they're going to go to the playoff next year. But I still think. Don't get me wrong. I still think Texas A&M is going to be a great team. I'm not expecting them to be as good as what people are thinking, and it's going to be an unpopular opinion. It's going to be an unpopular opinion. I do know that for sure, um, but it's just how I feel. I mean, looking at the, all these players that they're losing, Mon Kellen, of course, that is a huge uh, return for them. But with Williams leaving, and I mean, taking the hits on the defense as well, it may be a little bit of a struggle um, for Tech Sam to have to deal with those losses. Here's their schedule next year. They've got a very tough one, and that's what I've realized. Um, they've got at Clemson in week two. That is going to be a huge game. If they can pull that win off, Texas A&M fans better be ready for a great season because, really, that game is going to really determine how they're going to do. Um, I mean, at Clemson, though, that's going to be a night game, I do believe. That's what I'm thinking right now. It's really, really early, but just thinking about it, I mean, in week two, most games are – well, most, most of the schedule in the week two is typically really slow. So that should be on prime time. Uh, so that's going to be an even tougher game, though, for Texas A&M because they're having to go to Clemson in that game. And looking at the rest of their schedule, not going to be easy. They got Alabama, South Carolina, Georgia, and LSU. They also have to play um, at the final rankings last season. They have to play each of the top three teams, including Alabama, Georgia, and Clemson. And the thing is, though, if they're going to be able to make it to the SEC championship game, they've got to beat um, two of the three of Alabama, Georgia, and Clemson. That is not going to be easy for them to do. So that's why I'm putting, I'm going to put Clemson as a loss there. Um, it's going to be a really tough game there. But of course, we got six games that I'm, gonna, that I'm marking as certain wins. I'm pretty sure that those games are going to be able to win. Texas State, Lamar, Arkansas, that is in a neutral location. That is not a home game. But they do have Ole Miss on the road. I, I kind of considered putting that in white, same as Mississippi State. Um, but for Ole Miss, I think on the road, they should win that just because Ole Miss is really going to be a team that struggles next year, I think. Um, but of course, yeah, Mississippi State, UTSA should both be pretty easy wins. And then um, Auburn, Alabama, South Carolina, Georgia, too early to break those games, I think. Um, I'm putting Alabama in what? I think that they've got a chance to beat them. That would be um, a big upset this season for that team uh, to be able to beat Alabama. And then they have them at home as well, right where they want them. So that's going to be a game to watch for. Definitely a game for Texas A&M fans to mark on your calendars. It's October 12th. And South Carolina is going to be a team that I expect to be much better this year. They've got a ton of potential as well. And uh, yeah, I'm expecting South Carolina to make a run for the SEC Championship as well. Texas A&M is going to need to win that game if they're going to make um, an important bowl game. So watch out for that game as well. That's going to be a scary game, but they're going to have them at home. So I think that's really good. going to be the key factor in that game. Then they've got at Georgia in the next week. That's going to be a tough game. And then at LSU to finish off the season. So really, they don't really get a break in this 
in this schedule. I mean, you got October 29th, October 26th. That little stretch in between there should be their main break of the season. Uh, but really, almost every other week, they've got a tough opponent. And then that three-game stretch at the end of the season to end it off. But, um, yeah, so that's really my, my prediction is for Texas A&M. I say estimated record-wise, 6-6 six and six to 10-2 and two is safe to say. I don't expect them getting to 11 wins. Um, that means that they have only one loss on this schedule. That means you, for example, if you lost to Clemson, you'd also have to beat Alabama, South Carolina, Georgia, and LSU to be able to keep your 11-win record. And I do not see that happening. 10 wins is going to be their best-case scenario. I can't see them getting past 10 wins. Uh, but 6-6, six and six, I say, is their lowest record. I don't. I think for sure that they're going to make a bowl game despite the really tough schedule. Um, but I do think that this is going to be um, a season that has a lot of high expectations for Texas A&M. And I do expect them to make a pretty good bowl game. If you want a more definite record prediction, I would say between 7 and 8 wins is safe. And possibly nine, uh, possibly nine. A lot of people are saying 10 to 11 wins. I see that's definitely a reach right now, um, especially in the early parts of the offseason. If they get a good transfer or something, that will change. And that's why I'm going to be going over these predictions once again in the summer. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. We got the rest of the SEC to go. I believe we got four more teams. So yeah, stay tuned for those. Thank you guys all for watching. Cheers on the support and only if you'd like to. And I will see you all later.